my life was on hold. My my real life, the life that I should have lived, was was on hold. Nice to be free. <laughs> Why me, Lord? What have I ever done to deserve? When I was 16 years old, I was wrongfully identified as a suspect in a crime that was committed, and then eventually arrested and ultimately wrongfully convicted. Sentenced to 30 years to life plus life in prison, which in California basically was never to get out ever again. So now that I'm home, I'm, I'm definitely a proud student at Loyola Marymount. One of the dreams I've always had in my life was to go to school, and one of the things that people who came to my rescue had in common was that they were all educated. The night of my, on my 18th birthday, I was transferred to the men's jail here in Los Angeles, which is a very, very notorious jail for uh, you know, racism and violence. And looking back now, it was hard to imagine um, someone so young trying to stay afloat in a very deep, dark place. I always dreamed of getting out. I always dreamed of getting out and going to school. I always dreamed about being with my family. I dreamed about, you know, someday maybe being in politics. I dreamed big dreams from a place that dreams didn't exist. And your will is infinite. I was advised to just write letters. So I wrote letters to organizations, news organizations, to lawyers, judges, um, anyone I can reach out to who I thought might, might be interested in my story. Um, that went on for 15 years. And so until a very long time into my incarceration that I find the help that I finally needed, specifically attorneys and a law firm and the Innocence Project. So it all came together for me. The man they call Frankie was released from jail in downtown L.A. this afternoon after spending 20 years in prison. One of the mysteries of what's happened to me now that I'm home is people are really baffled as to why I'm not mad, why am, I, why am I not bitter, why am I not angry, why am I always smiling. I think if I'd have been negative and angry and bitter at the world, that would have eventually turned on myself and that would, it would have destroyed me. It's really hard to explain what it feels like to be free. It's, it's a sensation that really makes you feel that you're alive. On a daily basis, you can look around and say, this is what I want to look at, this is what I want to be, this is what I want to do, to realize that that my voice has power, my voice has can be heard, and to lend my voice and to and to focus my voice and my attention on issues that involve not only are close to my heart but involve people who I care about. And if I can sort of use that voice in a positive way, which I think I've been doing on some on some level, um, I want to be heard. My name is Frankie Carrillo, and I am a free man. <laughs>